Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful large lacy beaded earrings. They're easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I release matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and here just to show you how colors change your work beyond recognition uh, I want to show you how this looks in uh, this beautiful dark red and creamy color and as a pendant so um, you could uh, make your own creations and if you do share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see them and sometimes i share them on my community tab on youtube so thank you for watching you could support me by liking sharing and commenting down there in description you will find the full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are 8 beads in golden color and 11 seed beads in this beautiful black color. Here I use ear wires and jump rings in corresponding colors to this gold and I use monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters and you could use 0 0.16 or 0 0.14 it doesn't matter that much and you could use other beading thread of your choice this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers uh, i use them to attach those jump rings and to go through the difficult beads okay and now i'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay and and what I'm going to take first are six of these beautiful golden beads. Okay, and I have my six on my needle. And I'm going to slide those down, okay, like that, almost until the end of my thread. And here, what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm doing it by going with my tail thread twice or even three times. Okay around the loop and now I make one more knot here and now guys this is what I have I have a beautiful circle of six eight-o beads and I'm going through the one that's after my knot and I'm going to take one black 11 o and I'm going here through the following Bead like that then I'm taking just one more and I go through the following and now guys I'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay, and now I have this. And now what I want to do is go through this black 11 0 and I'm going to take four 8 0s and I will go back here in circle through this 11 0. Now this is what I have, and I will go through the first golden, take one black go through the following golden take one go through the next okay and i'm doing it until the end of this row the end of this circle okay now what i want to do is an additional step go directly through this golden bead to make additional thread pad and to make this stay uh, as a nice cross here okay and what i want to do is go one more time around this cross of beads reinforcing it 
okay and in my next step i'm going here i'm exiting out of my next black bead and what i want to take is to repeat those steps i'm taking four golden beads okay four go back here through this black one like this first golden one black continue two more times close the circle by going around through the goldens okay and when I'm ready I'm going through my next step okay here at this black one and I will show you one more time Okay guys, and now I'll do this off camera three more times. If you forgot how I'm, how I'm doing this, just rewind the video and repeat these three steps from here. Okay, pause this video, do this and I'll meet you in a while. Okay guys, and now I'm here where I just finished this row. And what I want to do as I'm exiting from this golden bead here is to exit out of this black one. And now I'm going to take two black beads and I will go back here. Just like that, to, through these two, you see I'm going in circle and I'm pulling. Now I have a loop between those two beads and those two beads, okay, like this. Then I go here at the edge and I take just one black bead and i go back through these beads okay now this is what i have okay i have this and now i want to reach my next black bead here black seed bead okay and i take two black beads and i go back here through this one and I have something like a loop here as well. Then I go back through this very first black bead. Okay. Like this. Then I go here at the edge. And I take one black bead. And I go back here. Okay, and what I want to do next is reach my next black one. Going here around the circle and exiting out of this black. And here I want to take two black beads and I want to go back here through the second one exiting out of the first one going through the second and then going back through these two from the center to the outside edge take just one like this and go back here through these two beads and then i want to exit through this black one the next black okay guys and i'm going to continue these three more times if you forgot how i did it just rewind the video and uh, you will see how i'm doing this side and repeat it from here okay see you in a while okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last bead from this row 
And what I want to do next is exit here at the top of my work like this. And what I want to take here are three golden beads just like this. And I will go back in circle through this seed bead. Okay. Now I have this. Now I will go here in this direction through three beads. Okay, here. And I take one golden, one black, and one golden. Okay. And I go back here. Now I'm going here through this black one. And I need three goldens. Go back. Like this. You see? Then my goal is to exit out of the next black seed bead that is sticking out which is this one here between the goldens. And I'm taking the same thing that I took here. One golden, one black, one golden. Okay. And I go back here through this black one. And in my next step, I'm exiting here at the top where I need three golden beads. You see three goldens. Okay. Like this, and I pull. Then I go through the golden and through the following black. And I take golden, black, and golden. And I go back here. Okay. Now I go here at the edge. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Three goldens golden black golden three goldens golden black golden and i'll meet you here to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm here where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and now what i want to do is exit out of this golden bead in this direction okay then what i want to do is exit out of this black bead at the edge and now it's time to flip my work because I'm right-handed and I prefer to go in this direction and what I need next are four seed beads okay I have them here and I'm going through this golden one then I take four more okay four and I go through this black again four beads. Okay, I have four. Go here. And this row, guys, is really pleasant and really easy. I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it by yourself and meet me here. Okay guys, and now I'm here where I'm adding my last four beads from this row. And what I want to do next is reach my next golden bead. Okay. I'm here next to my following golden. And I need three more goldens, just like this. By the way, if you like it uh, like this, you could leave it without adding any more beads. You could stop at any stage that you like and finish your work. 
but I will continue some more here. Okay, three, and I have a cross of four. Then I'm going here through the four beads, through the middle one, and through the following. Okay, I'm going through one, two, three, four, five, six beads. Okay. I'm going through six beads and I'm three beads away from the following golden. And this is the place where I add a black, a golden and a black. Okay. And I go back here in circle through these three beads. You see, I'm going through those three. Now I have this. Then I go through the following three and through the golden one. Here I need three beads and I go back and I, if you can in one movement, go through the following six black beads. I'm three beads away from this golden, I'm exiting here and I take a black, a golden and a black, you see. And I go back through these three beads like this. Through the following three, aiming for the next golden. Then again, three. Go back here and through the six black. If you want, do this in one movement to save time. Okay, then again a black, a golden and a black, go back and now guys I'm sure you know what to do until the end of this row, if not rewind the video and repeat this one from here and I'll meet you in a while. Okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row going back through the central tree and this is what i have now what i want to do is exit out of this black bead and i must admit i was considering to stop my work up to here but uh, my beads were moving around that's why i decided to make additional row okay and what i want to take here are four black beads and as I'm exiting from this one, I'm going through this golden here, in from the outside to the center. Then I go through this golden and to the outside edge to through the following golden. Okay. Then I take four like this. And I go through this black one and I also want to go through the bottom three beads that I've been through in my previous row, okay? And I'm exiting out of this uh, black bead here. Now I need four blacks. And I go here through this golden and if you can help yourself by going through as, as many beads as you can in one movement to make it faster. Okay, now what I need to take are four. Okay, four. Go through this black bead here. through these three beads down there. If it's difficult for you to go through these beads down there, you need to use your pliers at this step. Okay. And I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. Okay. It's very easy. Just go around and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys. And here I am where I'm adding my last four beads from this row. And what I do here, it's not an obligatory step, but what I would like to do 
is to go around through this last row to reinforce it. Okay. And in order to do this, I'm just going here through all of my beads. You see, uh, when I go two times through these beads, they say stay in a better shape, more rounded somehow. Okay, I'll do this and I will tell you how to finish your earring. Okay, guys, and I just went around through all of my beads. And here, what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. And I'm doing it this by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I want to repeat this step several more times here I'm not showing it to be faster and when I go through the following not after my last uh, seed bead okay and I exit out of my last seed bead this is what I have my earring or pendant is ready and now here is my last step where I need to attach my ear wire and in order to do this I take this jump ring, I open this up and I go through one of those ATO beads with the larger hole and then I put on my ear wire and I squeeze back squeeze back just like this and now guys my earring is ready okay guys and now my large lacy beaded earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents and for yourself and don't forget that when you change colors, your work goes beyond recognition and it looks so different and so fresh. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.